Hello and welcome back to CTR Nitric Fueled. We're back. And we're gonna go on to the next one. We're gonna complete the Aku Aku Cup, but we're also gonna do it in mirror mode. But before we do that, let's go hop into the time trial real quick. Because I'm always late apparently. <laughs> always and forever. Twelve wins, it's not bad. Get it down to eight. And then we'll see what we do online. Hopefully online won't be too bad. We'll just have to wait and see. It's really... Oh jeez, I just saw the bit rate like, thing just freak out. It'll be really nice to get Isabella stuff out of the way because then we'll only have I think two? No, we'll have three events of characters worth the cover. Well, I think there's actually just one in each. No, two in the first one. And then one in the other two. Each. It'll be heckin' nice to be able to say we have everything here soon. And then we'll just have uh, some challenges to do. But I do think, honestly, with uh, me doing what I want to do with Animal Crossing, we might just, uh... This will be a thing for a long time. At least that's the goal. Because I was at one point I was thinking of replacing this, but I don't know. If I do what I want to do with that, then there will be no need to. At least for a bit. At least for a bit longer, that is. Come on. Below. Get out of here. My old velo time get out of here, I mean. Because you're not the actual velo. You're me. Impersonating velo. <laughs> Why am I so much faster than myself? Not really that much faster than myself, but still. Ooh. Come on. Oh, heck. Aw, oh, I passed myself for a split second there. That was good. That was very close. Ooh. Are you serious? I had the exact same time. I had the exact same time. Are you heckin' kidding me right now? How dare I. I almost had it. I almost had it. I think honestly if I do the little jump thing off the side of the bridge it might be slightly faster. I'm not 100% sure on that. But Aku Race. The Aku Aku Cup. Oof. Oof in mirror mode. Thunderstruck and... Actually Thunderstruck's the only one that really scares me on this. But Thunderstruck on mirror mode? Ooh bully. Also wait a second. I thought I changed the uh, the uh, thing. I want to check this. I want to be on the safe side. Cause it said Wonder Song Seal. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to see that game, but I love that game. Let's see. Uh. Okay, good, 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 good. It's marked as it should be. I just had to check real quick. Let's go. Oh, I did not get the boosty base going. But it's fine. We're getting some challenges done right now. And soon. We'll go online. Oh geez, that is not what I expected at all. I just gotta remember that it's not as bad as I always think it is. But I will say, I did notice, somebody pointed out that uh, they actually mirror the character too and the stuff on the carts. It's not just the track, it's actually the character, like literally everything. 
like if we see Isabella here has the two strands of blue on the right, we actually go into the non-mirror mode. It'll be two on the left and one on the right. Like the braids, I guess. Those are braids, right? I think they are. I can't really tell. Also, you can tell with the jumping animation, too, because, uh... Like, usually she does it on the opposite side whenever she jumps. Like, her pose is on the opposite side. But here, it's just like... The, this, the, she's leaning up on the left side of her body. Or I might be mistaken, she might be leaning on the right. I didn't really get a good look at it. Either way. It is different. Everything is actually mirrored. Which I don't know if that's a thing in uh, Mario Kart Nearly Mirror. I don't think it might just be the track and nothing else. But I'm not sure. Let's go. Also, I don't know when, but at some point we gotta start uh, Mario Kart on the channel. I know not a lot of people like Mario Kart 8 and. I don't know, I just, I enjoy it. It's not the best. My favorite still, uh, Double Dash, but maybe I'm just easy to please when it comes to things like this. Either way, it's fine. Like I said, though, I do plan on doing Mario Kart like I did, uh, or like I have been doing Star Fox. There will be one difference in Star Fox, though, and that'll be Adventure. Adventure won't be a short game between each other or the other games. It'll be its own stream. We'll do it as soon as we beat Star Fox 64. Which we still need to go through and finish up the normal base mode because I think we're missing a couple uh, normal stages before we unlock expert mode. Which isn't too bad. We'll get it at some point. Perfect execution. And honestly, hopefully, once we do that, I'll have Starbucks Adventures. I have Starbucks Assault, so that'll be after that. And then I think there's some handheld games between Assault and Zero. I think that's right. Starbucks 2 is actually on the Switch, so I can play it through that, which is actually how I plan on streaming that one anyway. But I don't know if we'll do it immediately after. I don't know if we'll do it at the very end or actually just sometime in the middle. I played a little bit of it. I enjoyed it a lot. But we'll have to see how that goes. So I don't know all the little things in that game. Because I played it a little bit on the Switch whenever uh, it first got released on the Switch. And I gotta say too, we will probably do Star Fox 64 3D, the 3DS port, at some point, but I gotta get a 3DS capture card. Same with actually, um, Ocarina of Time HD and... What was it? Majora's Mask HD. I don't ever forget it. My favorite one or 3D. I'm not gonna do that with something like Wind Waker because it's not that big of a visual change. Like it's it's different enough that it, you can tell the difference, but it's not that big of a difference in my eyes. But we will play Wind Waker HD again at some point in the near future. Same with the. Uh, Pot Princess HD. I want to pick up that version at some point. And that'll be the version we end up playing on stream. Ooh. That actually went really well. Holy cow. No! 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 TNT, why? It's fine. How dare it, though. How dare it. Let's go. Eh? Come on. Eh? Dang it. I was hoping it was going to be the other way. 
but it's fine. It's perfectly fine, actually. We're still gonna win this. Whew. That was not so sad. Just popping in for a moment. You wanted to say that I'm hacking fantastic? You're hacking fantastic. Thank you for stopping by, though. I really appreciate it. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm playing in mirror mode right now, and I don't know how to do mirror mode. It's spooky, but it's fine. Is now the one where we... Or is the next one the one where we get the uh, track I'm most worried about? Because I'm most worried about the... Um, the Thunderstruck map. Because it's the one I know the least, and then playing it in mirror mode is going to be a nightmare for me since I barely know the track well enough to get through it. Which is weird, because it came out with the launch of the game, but, like, I just never played it a lot. It never came up a lot for me. You know, you notice and it was weird? It messes with my brain so bad on the tracks, because sometimes I'll want to go the natural way and then it's like no you're going the wrong way on this version this one gives me so much trouble in general so we'll see how this goes but we have more race after this in the uh in the uh, challenges and then we'll go to online also one last thing queen i'm sorry if you're just like i want to lurk or anything or you're just like i'm gone but I have over 30,000 credits in the game right now, and nothing to spend the credits on. Oh my gosh! Ah! I also believe that I can win. One day, Queen, you're gonna hear me say that, I'm sure. And it will probably not be glorious, but it'll probably happen. I'm just saying that because I know you're going to be like, it, it will be glorious, or it will be good, or it'll be worth it, or something. I don't know. But still. Eh. Okay, if I was wanting to go that way, and it's like, there's no path that way. Eh. Dang. That's a lot. Oh, jeez. But you'll be certain the new stuff comes out. Oh, yeah. Which will hopefully be next Thursday, actually. Which I'm super excited for. I am ready. I'm probably not going to buy everything immediately, though, because I, I'll kind of want to spread it out so I can have time to play around with everything. But it'll be nice to know, like, hey, this is just going to be mine. I can just get it. You're so ready for that day? Oh, jeez. It'll be all of the above. It'll be... Wait, it'll be not glorious, but it'll also be fantastic and wonderful. I don't know how this works. But if you say it's... Oh! Also... I know what I said to Sunshine in chat, and then I forgot to actually go get food. I need to go get more food after... after I need to get more food after stream. It's fine, though. <gasps> no! It's fine, though. Eeh. This track, though. I need to get better at it. The dev times. Ooh, the dev times will be spooky. I'm kind of ready for the dev times. I'm ready to see what they're going to be like, and I'm kind of curious if I'm like, close to any of them. I kind of don't think I am, but who knows? Eh? Well, we made it to the end, it's fun. It'll be glorious, wonderful, and worth it. We shall see, Queen. We shall see. I got the hard track out of the way. We're almost at 50,000 points. Also, I believe I am still in top 5%, which is nice, because that means, well, if I am, I'll have gotten all the champion cart decals, because I've spent so much time in the game. You're off, but have a good stream. 
Alright, bye Queen. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. It's always nice having you stop by. But it is time for the final track, which... Was it Simply Lane? Oh, no, it's Barren Ruins. How did I forget Barren Ruins? Ooh. Ooh. I will take that. Come here, Golden Wampa. Come here, Golden Wampa. Thank you. Let's heck and go. We got this. I got this track and it's just not gonna hold me back at all. It's such a basic track that I won't lose fire on this. And if I do, I'm just gonna be really sad. I almost actually lost it there. Well, if I lose it by getting hit by something, I'm not going to count that, because that's just the thing that happens normally. But, if I lose it because I can't drift, I'm going to be very sad. We heckin' got this. I'm surprised at how well I'm doing on this track, though. Like, you know, I was just like, it was a basic track, it's fine. But, um... Still, this one's not throwing me off at all compared to some of those other ones. Well, it did the second, the beginning of the second lap, but seriously, it's not that bad. Oh, I just hit that. Oh, I just hit that too. How dare! Ooh. I would have been very sad if I missed that jump. But we did it. We got it. Oh no. Controller batteries, why? Did I do this? I didn't do this. But, rip. I don't know why my rip sounded like that, but still rip. Hopefully... The batteries will last for the full night, but we'll see soon enough. We got time. We got time for some races, at least. I wonder... I gotta go into the online mode. I gotta kick some butt, or at least attempt to. But honestly, who knows what's gonna happen. I wish I knew. Actually, I'm kinda glad I know. Also, 32,659 is our total. Let's go. Let's see how these races go. I'm hoping they go pretty well for us. Like, even if we don't win any of them, I hope we're still, like, with everybody. Because, like, that's just what I want to see. Matchmaking, go to the lobby. Also, this time, the uh, two blue strips are on the left side. I can tell when she turned her head right there. Hold on. Yeah, see, before when it was, we were in mirror mode, it was on the right. So it does mirror the characters, too. And I'm assuming the carts, and, well, I know the carts and everything else. But, like, I didn't know that for the longest time. But thankfully, I know now. Ooh. Have we played with any of these people? I'm not sure. Tiny Temple, though. Also, we need eight, right? Yeah, eight more wins. 
And then the babies. We asked if we could actually start like playing with Baby Crash tonight, but I don't know if we will. It just depends on how these go. I feel like this is one of my better tracks though, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna do good or win. But let's find out. Luna, are you being precious? Are you being lovey-dovey? Are you spending time with me? You've been spending a lot of time with me recently. Like Luna, a month or two ago, she started laying with me a little bit and then she stopped it. But a couple of days ago, she's picked it back up and she has not wanted to leave my side. It's been really nice. Actually, all three of the cats have been near me. Well, they were all near me yesterday. Like, I could reach every single one of them and pet them all at the same time. For most of the day, like, no matter where I went or what I did, which is kind of nice. Cookie didn't move, like, around with us all that much. But she still did a little bit. Especially when I was gaming, he was like, okay. They're all, like, super close. I don't know why I decided, hey, I need to be in front of everybody. Ah, oh, TNT, why would you do this? Oh my gosh. Nobody got the shortcut, okay. Okay, that wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, but it's fine. <laughs> Thank you so very much. surprised at how well we're doing right now. Holy cow. Ah, how dare you. Rude. I cannot believe that's happened. But, it's fine. Boop. I don't know why that person like started, or well, I don't know why they attacked me with two uh, of the rockets. Like I don't know where that came from, but all right. We did pretty good. I know that uh, it's better to get through the grass that way, but I don't know if I needed to cut like go through to a different part of the track faster or if me going straight in the line like I did was the right thing to do there but I had that first run past there and I was like oh that was actually really good but I'm just not sure maybe I'll find out when the dev times come out and I can like watch the one of the dev times maybe I hope we'll just see what happens Also, I mean, that's also not bad. We just need seven wins now with her. So we're slowly going down the list. Or not the list. We're slowly going counting the wins down. Which is nice. If we, Like I said, if, I, if we could get it today, I'd be really happy to be able to start with uh, Baby Crash tonight. But I, just, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Hmm. Ah, 
I wonder if I'm gonna get hit again. Ooh! Engine Labs? Yes, please. I will always be happy for Engine Labs. I wonder what... I think the red one might be good for her. I like the red paint job. It's gonna be really weird. Going to Baby Crash. So it's like Baby Crash, Baby Kaka, Kometo, Mo. So that's like two different events and then three. Yeah. There's three total events that we actually got to work on. Was the Spyro in the Doom Buggy? Was that the one that hit me? I don't even know. I have no clue actually. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for at least seven more wins just to start Baby Crash today. If I lose every other race after that, I'd also be kind of happy. Like, I'd also be fine with it because I at least get to move on to another character. I, I, the goal for me right now is kind of to get all the character stuff unlocked before the next update comes out. But we'll see what happens. All right, let's do this. Let's see how this goes. I really do like that cart that uh, uh, Freely has. Come on. Ooh. Oh yes. Let me go. I see the two crunches and I'm just like, oh geez. It's been a while since I've actually seen just like one of the basic crunch skins. I like all of them. They're all really good. Ooh. I heard crash. I thought I heard crash. Come on. That was not exactly how I wanted to do that, but hey, it works. Ooh! I was not expecting that, but I'll take it. It's giving me a lot of boosts in general for some reason. But I'll take it. Like, I feel like, I think I'll always add to the reserves, don't they? I know the Super Engine doesn't really add to the reserves, but I don't know about the uh just the boosty boost in general like the normal basic one it might but like i said i have no clue Ooh. come on Oh no, I lost it. I had a feeling my booty bounced into the wall. It's fine though. It's perfectly fine. As long as... As long as I can keep this, I'll be happy. I wonder why that one person like seriously did that though. I feel like I'm going to think that every time I see the, uh, say, Spyro tonight. Why would they attack me? Also, I want to bring something up. I was playing, uh, Sea of Thieves last night. And, uh, I'm actually going to see if anything is posted about it. But, um, I was playing Sea of Thieves, and... I was like, I'm gonna. I have one more voyage left to do, or one more voyage. I have one more uh, tall tale left to do for the second one. Well, one more attempt to do for the second one to get the uh, final reward. And I just couldn't do it. 
the game wouldn't let me at all. It's just like I did the Tall Tale, and you're supposed to turn in a telescope piece and part of a compass, I believe it was. Or you you turn in the two thing, two different things. I don't know exactly what they are. I think one's a telescope though, for sure. But um, I turned them in, and Madame Olivia is supposed to tell you what you need to do and give you the item you need to complete the quest. But she doesn't give me the item. And I'm just like, what do? I finished this part of the times before. Why can't I do it a fifth time? The game just straight up tells me no. I've done it three or four times at this point. I did it twice last night. Trying to get it to work, and it was just like, no. This is not happening. Which is just strange, but I don't know, it is what it is. Part of me is like, do it tonight, but another part of me is like, no, I need to level up Order of Souls and Merchant Alliance a little bit more. Which I'm super hopeful to do tonight, because that's what I end up, that's what I plan on doing after stream is just playing Sea of Thieves. But we'll see what happens. You know what else I plan on doing? I plan on rubbing little Luna's belly. Yeah. You're precious. You got the soft fur. And you're so nice and loving. You're also just going to lay on my hand because reasons and I need my hand back. Leave your belly soft and all, but that doesn't mean I want you to lay your stomach on my hand. Baby girl. I gotta say, I wouldn't mind the races being more close. But, I still want to win. <laughs> At least for six more races. Please. Can I have both? That's all I ask for. Prehistoric Playground. A very nice track. Oh gosh. Let's heckin' go! I did that just in case I was going to get hit. Because there have been so many times where I got hit on that and I just did not want to be hit. Whew. It looks like I've got a very good lead. Also, I see one space pyro that's not moving. And that scares me a little bit. Oh geez, I lost my speedy speed. But it's fine. I hope I go by with, oh hey. I was gonna say a shield, but that's not happening. Okay, they're not, okay. I thought for sure they were gonna like attack me. I thought that might have been the one, but I wasn't sure. So I, I always, I always go this path. I don't know if I've ever actually gone the other path, except for maybe once or twice. I should go the other path at some point. Oh heck! Do they just like have the invincibility and they try to run me over? Oh heck! That wasn't supposed to happen. Rip. I'm having trouble going up this little cylinder part. I gotta get better at it. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. Not at all. Whew. No, I lost it. Rip. 
It's fine. Place fire is just waiting. Okay, I, I wonder what happened there. I'm just like watching the map and seeing what all happens. This is what I wanted a bit more of. This kind of turning up here, but it is what it is. I did really well. I didn't do as, as well as I could have, but still wasn't that bad. I'm sorry for yawning. Things happen. But I have a good feeling that if this keeps up, we'll be playing this baby crash here soon. But I might actually get my wish and start losing every single race after we get baby crash. I'd actually find it hilarious if I got down to one win for Isabel and then it was like, no, no, no more. Which that's also very possible. I could also not win anymore from this point on. There was a night, like a week or two ago, though, where I actually won every race except for two. Still don't want to count those because the two that I quote unquote won, the person let myself and others pass. I don't remember what the name was, though, but I know they were playing as Hasty. I think, well, actually, I think they were playing as Hasty. Either way, they were really good. And even though I got first place, I'm counting it as their wins. But hey, it is what it is. Also, I don't know if it's today or not, but I think some point soon this week, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday, the Everwatch event stuff opens up a bit more and I can get the next couple of challenges. Which, that'll be really nice, honestly. Okay, let's see. Matchmaking, go to the lobby. Just five more wins. Okay. Tiny Arena, Clockwork Wampa. I'm, only, I'm gonna vote Clockwork Wampa, but I'm fine with the Tiny, temp tiny Arena. Yeah. Hopeful that we're going to get down to zero wins on her. That's what I want to see. Because I don't know, I just. I like seeing progress, and since we can't buy anything now, it's like it's harder to see said progress it's like even though there's a counter in game it's not a it's not as big of a visual representation of the progress as having the actual characters themselves unlocked in my opinion i will say too whenever we do have everything unlocked and we have like all the characters and stuff i'll probably play around a bit with random as well as playing like a little bit as baby t pinstripe in trance, some of the characters I really like. Like I like all of them, but like there's a few that I'm just like, oh my gosh, these are like my favorites. <sighs> Sorry for yawning. I've just been a very tired main. Let's just move. That could have been handled a lot smoother than what I did. Oh jeez. Ooh. 
I got this. Aw, oh, that was not supposed to happen, but it's fine. That was not as good as it needed to be. Whoops, I just lost all of it right there. This is still like one of my worst tracks. I gotta get better at it. Like that's all there is to it is I just gotta get better. Also I really wish I could uh, pause this right now because the back of my neck is like itchy. Oh gosh. Thank you. I cannot scratch it. It is just like ee. Okay, there we go. That's good. Oh jeez, I'm so far ahead that I didn't... I didn't realize I was that far ahead. Oh my gosh. Okay. I thought Polar was like right on my bum. Polar is like still right behind me, but not as close as I thought. Come on. Okay, there we go. We're good. Let's keep moving. Whew. I'm kind of worried how the uh, time trial here is going to go, but to be fair, whenever I did the uh, Velo time trial here, it wasn't that bad. So maybe the dev time won't be that bad? Or maybe it will, and I'm just like hoping for the best. Oh, there's some chances right there to catch up. Like honestly, also my neck needs to stop. Okay, I went ahead and got it. Just needed one quick little scratch. Ew. That was such a weird time to have, like any sort of witch is just a witch. He sort of itches just like in the middle of the race. Let's go. I'm very happy with that. I wonder what the Velo time trial is on that track. Like, I have no idea, honestly. Excuse me, I was not expecting to see that, but that is kind of awesome. So I don't know if this is like official or not, but Wolfie posted this in the Discord. Sony Interactive Entertainment plans on acquiring the Metal Gear Silent Hill and Castlevania IPs from Konami. In addition, Hideo Kojima will be involved in both Metal Gear and Silent Hills if they get the rights. Which is like, holy cow. That is some big news. That is some big news in my opinion. I gotta be honest. The thing I'm mostly... Like the one thing that pulls at me the most, the one that wants me, that like, gets my attention the most, is Metal Gear. I love Metal Gear Solid. I would love to play more games with them if they were from, like, Kojima. Oh, jeez. Yeah. 
I don't know, though. Like, is that guaranteed that Kojima would work on it if Sony acquired them? Because I'm trying to think, like, his studio isn't owned by Konami, or, or by Konami, by uh, Sony, are they? I thought that Konami just helped, pub- like, help fund the uh, first game. Or am I confused? I just, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check that out a little bit and see. Like, I honestly was not expecting to see that at all. Ooh, okay. So I can watch this first, and they're doing that a lot better than I did. Oh jeez, that was not what I wanted to do there, but it's fine. Come on. It's fine. Oh no, that was not good. That was not good. That was not good at all. Come on. I needed more boosty boost than what I had. It's fine though. Ooh. That could have been a lot, so much better. Ooh. Oh no, come on, no! I screwed up so bad! Did my little hoppies in the worst possible way. It's fine though. I don't know if we're gonna win this one or not, but it's fine either way. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Come on. Ooh. That was a close race. That was a really good one. Ooh. I was surprised I got that uh, one shield shot off. That was a very close race. That was a really good one too. Thank you. Hi CTR Bomb, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I think that was one of the closest races I've had in a while, and that was really nice. Like even if I would have lost it, that would have been a really nice race. I'm glad you're doing good. I just saw some news that apparently Sony is looking to get Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, and uh, Castlevania from Konami. And apparently if they got those, Kojima would work on Metal Gear Solid and uh, Silent Hills, which would be awesome. I'm doing fantastic. I'm just a little hungry right now. So far we've won every race. But with this Toxic Cade person, if they stick around, I think I might not win every race. But I'm fine with that as long as the races are like that. That was a good one. Uh, I'm going to go Super Speedway. That was a really close race, and I, I really hope for more like that. Also, I hope I don't make too much noise. I have my leg propped up on the table right now. Because my knee is just like, decided it needs to hurt for a minute. To be fair, with the knee surgeries I've had and everything, I need to move my leg a little bit where it gets in pain. I love close races too. I'd rather have a super close race and lose than have a race where I'm miles ahead of everybody and win every time. Because it's just more fun that way.
I'd still want to win, of course, but like, I'd still rather have the close race and lose overall than just win by a mile. Let's see how this goes. That was really nice, though. I hope for more like that. Let's go. You lose every time when it's super close, even though you finish it first on your screen. That happens to me occasionally. Not all the time, but sometimes it'll like place you in different orders than you actually see on your side. Hi, Pimp Jira. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Sorry, I was just trying to hold in a burp. Because <laughs> that just snuck up on me all of a sudden. So, excuse me, and I'm sorry. Let's go. We just had a really close race, and I'm really hoping we get another close one here in a second. Well, this race right here. Come on. Hmm. I'm wondering, is the person behind me the same person that they switch characters? Because I wasn't paying attention. I really wasn't. Crunch and I are really close to each other. Ooh. There we go. Oh, it is them. Okay, nice. Come on. That wasn't as good as it could have been, but it's fine. You just got back from grocery shopping, which is like 10 times a chore it used to be. I've heard, I've heard it's like gotten really bad. Come on. Ah, oh, that was a bad throw. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Ooh. Oh no! He did really well though, because he had the shield. No, no, no. Come on. Ooh. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Ooh! Oh no, they, get, they beat me. That was close. They beat me, though. That was so good. That was so good. Hello, Chemical Princess. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. The lines weren't that long, at least, though. You were talking about that? That was close. Is it going to flip us around? I think it's going to flip us around. Yeah, there we go. That was a good race, though. Oof. I thought I won. I thought I won at first. I like this. I really like this. I finished first. Well, it showed me this first on my screen, but I had a longer time in the race than they did. So, technically, they were faster than me. It just didn't show that on my side of the game. That was a good race, so I, I didn't mean to get that loud, though. I <laughs> things happen. Ooh, that was so close, though. How many races do I need? I think I need three races now for uh, Isabella. I think. And we get her final skin. If I didn't mess up that rocket shot, I could have won. Ooh, mystery case? Oh, I'll just check. I'll let the I'll let everybody else right I won't actually wait. Three more races it is, okay. It seems like it's gonna be mystery case. You're going to sleep? Good luck? 
Alright, thank you, CTR Mom, for stopping by. It's always nice to get to talk to you. And I hope you have a wonderful sleep. I feel like I got a little too excited at that race. <laughs> Which I feel like is something you guys don't hear too often. Like, you guys do hear me, like, being happy and stuff, but I don't, like, get excited like I just did all the time. <laughs> so that was a thing. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing, I just don't want to get too loud. You decided to do nothing. But, I mean, as long as you're having fun doing nothing, I guess. <laughs> you don't feel like streaming. I got, I get it. I got you. But I hope you have fun with whatever you decide to do. You don't even feel like sitting at your PC, really. I get that sometimes. I do. You might just like hearing play Farmville. I've never touched Farmville. I hear Farmville. My first thought is, I want to play Harvest Moon. We're Animal Crossing. Or try Stardew Valley finally. <laughs> Probably get the Rhino one. Get the Rhino. You say Rhino. My first thought is Ravioli. I know that's not what that is, but let's go. Come on. I gotta start going through that path. I really do. Ooh. Ooh. That was not what I expected to have happen. And I missed out on the one boost pass. So that's not good for me. Ooh. Come on. Ah! That was not what I expected to have happen, but it's fine. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it, I was trying to hit him. I tried so hard to get him. No! Why did I do it to myself? I know the left side is actually quicker, but I don't know. I just want to go to the right because of reasons. Ooh. Oh, I feel so bad for that person. I did not mean to run them over. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> this is what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want to lose my speed. But things happen. It's fine. That's not fine. I don't know what happened. I don't know what this race even is. Oh no. It's fine. Wait, what? They parked. They parked on the finish line. They got exactly 220. There's that for a sound. These races. Ooh, these races tonight. They got real good, real fast. What is happening? Why am I so excited tonight? Someone help me. I've gotten more excited than I usually am and I don't understand why. I haven't had anything that would like hype me up or anything. I had a bowl of stew and that was my supper. Chemical princess. Why do you make me hyper? Tell me now. Please. 
I don't know. I think it was actually right before you got here. I think it was. It might have been. I don't remember now. It could have been after you got here. I'm just not sure. Also, I love the Lion King like little walk from Pura. It's really heckin' adorable. Ah. Meteor Gorge. Okay. Is we're okay. We're still three away. I was like, is it two or now, or is it three? I don't know. We have enough time to get three wins, but will we get three wins? Oh jeez, I almost did something I didn't want to do. That came in. Ooh, I really like that decal on the Void Manta. It is really heckin' nice. Also, who's the uh, host of the lobby? Whoever's the host is the one that's in first place. The beginning, I think. I think that's how this works. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Luna. Baby girl, why you passed out up against me? I'm just like rubbing her sides and her ears are just like moving a little bit. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. She's waking up. She's lifting her head up. She's shoving her face in my hand. She won't sleep and I'm just over here patting her. Why would I do this to her? Alright. Let's try our best here. Let's do better. Hey, Man, I forgot who it was. I did. I forgot to check and see who it was that was the uh, leader of the lobby. Ooh. Oh my gosh. How many rockets was that? Is that six? I think it might have been six rockets. But I'm not sure, like, oh my god. Come on. That could have been a lot better. That could have been a lot smoother. Come on. Polar, I'm coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm surprised that I'm ahead right now, but we'll see what happens. Polar, please don't pass me. I said Polar, please. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Perfect execution. All right. Just two more wins. Oh my gosh. These races though. I'm way, I feel like I'm way too high for you today for me. Or for this, for me, like, like I feel like it's dying down a little bit, but like earlier, it's just, what happened? Was it really because Chemical Princess is here? Also, I never commented, but I really like the kitty emote. I really like that one. Also, I just clicked on it and I'm like, wait a minute. Princess, this is your tier 2 emote. It's really nice. I said that before too, but still, it is nice. I like it. I'm always a fan of kitties. In any way, shape, or form. Isn't that right, Luna, baby? Luna's probably just sitting here thinking 
booty please i'm trying to sleep and you're just petting me and jumping around on the couch and making me bounce Yes, 100% fine though. Let's see. Ooh. Poppy's Pyramid. I'm always gonna vote for Poppy's Pyramid. I may not always win Poppy's Pyramid, but it's one of my favorite tracks. I'm really curious to see how this goes for us. I really am. Hopefully, hopefully we'll win this track and hopefully win the next one and I'll be able to switch over to uh, Baby Crash and start working on him. And then we'll, if, actually, whenever we finish up with Baby Crash, we'll only have three characters left and they're all from different events, which will be kind of nice. Because they're all different, they'll be, all be themed differently after that point. Besides, of course, Baby Coco. I think we're supposed to be getting uh, Baby Cortex and Entropy with the next update as well. Because they were supposed to come in the prehistoric uh, playground event, but for some reason we didn't get them. There is an Indie Direct tomorrow. Also, I've been thinking about doing this. I don't know if I actually will or if I'll start tomorrow. It might happen, it might not. I've been thinking of just streaming the events and just giving my honest opinions of the things. Which means maybe the rumored main direct for next week is true as well. I will say this, if I actually do uh, stream the event tomorrow morning, which I kind of, actually I think it's at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, my time, um, I might just do it. I might just pop up. And if, the, if I do that, I'm probably going to see if I could get a friend to join me for uh, the Nintendo Direct and do that. But, like, I've been thinking about wanting that for a while just because it gives me a chance to talk about more games than what I usually play and more things that have, aren't necessarily stream related. I don't know, I just feel like it'll be nice to actually get around to talking about that stuff. You know? As somebody that literally talks about all the games streaming, also, that was a good one. Let's see. Because then the Direct was leaked a few days ago, which also had a mention of the 26th or 27th for uh, Nintendo Direct. If you're here, you'll hop on. Nice. Just know, I don't know if I'll actually do that or not. It just depends on what's going on and if I actually decide, like, I'm doing this. Like, I always thought it'd be fun. I just never gotten around to doing it. I wanted to do it the past few years for like E3, but E3 is not happening this year. But I don't know, I might actually try to do the event still. Again, we'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens. But, I would like to do that with the Nintendo Directs at least, because I feel like Nintendo Directs are what I'm going to enjoy the most. The Indiecade 2, or the Indie, uh, Indie World, whatever it's called. Because, I mean, they usually have really good games that I'm like, ooh, yes, please. Also, I think it'd be really nice if we got something else like, uh, Cadence of Hyrule. I haven't played it yet, but I'd like to. <laughs> now, if you don't heck and do it, now I'll never speak with you. Speak to you again. Oh! So it's one o'clock, right? <laughs> we'll see what happens. I gotta find a way to stream it because I can't stream from my computer, but I... I guess I could load up YouTube on my Xbox and have the stream playing like 30 minutes early and just kind of be ready for it. I need to try Crypt of the Necker Dancer at all, and I need to get Cadence of Hyrule. At some point, we gotta get that and stream it, because it's technically a Zelda game. I just hope I'm good when it comes to the rhythm game aspect. Which I know is the whole game, but like. 
I can do decent at rhythm games, but if I mess up in a rhythm game, I panic. And I throw my rhythm completely off at that point, and I usually screw myself over because of that. I was just kidding, I think. We're not dun dun dun. That was a terrible dun dun dun. Don't worry about it. But I'll see what happens. I do have a couple plans in the morning that would interfere with Final Fantasy, maybe, so that might be a good replacement. People might be upset about that replacement. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I am curious as to what's going to be coming from that. Also, I was kind of hoping we'd stay in that lobby. We almost have 35,000. That was a good lobby. That was a good, 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 good lobby. You think it's really hard game so far, but you haven't played many rhythm games? I haven't played many rhythm games either. I like the genre. I haven't played too much in it. I've played like small games like Boom Boom Rocket on 360 that came with my 360. I played things like Guitar Hero before. I didn't sink a lot of time in Guitar Hero. Um, there's another one that I have. There's some games that I play that have rhythm mini games in them, like say Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Which I've actually really enjoyed playing with Chaotic. It's been a lot of fun. Um, there's games though that I absolutely want to try in the series. Or the, the genre. I want to play Space Channel 5. I want to play Samba de Amigo. I want to play Parappa the Rapper. I want to play a lot of that stuff. Because all those games have like a really nice charm to them from what I've seen. And I really want to experience them. I, I will say this, if I ever get like Perhaps the Rapper or something like something like that, I will be streaming it. All the cool thing about Tense Hyrule, I could turn off the rhythm and you could turn the rhythm stuff off if you just really couldn't get into it. I would want to try to get good at the rhythm, so. I think for me personally, I would want to play with the rhythms on, like the rhythm stuff on even if I wasn't good at it. Just because I feel like that's the way it's meant to be played. Like... That's just me personally. I'm not going to fault anybody for not doing that. Because, like, it's just who you are. Like, if you enjoyed playing it a certain way, that's the way you enjoy playing it. But I'm a stubborn bean, and even if I'm not a big fan of something, I'll try to do it and get better at it just because it's, I feel like it's the way it's meant to be played. You just meant you tried and tried and couldn't get it far? Ah, I gotcha. I also can't fault anybody that does that if you can't progress like that because I'm I can't think of off the top of my head of a game that was like that for me but I'm sure there had to have been and I know if I was in that situation where it just wasn't working for me I would probably be like okay I need to switch this to make it easier because like at a certain point you just want to experience the game at a certain point, you want to see what the game has to offer. And if it has something that holds you back, you're not going to have fun doing that repeatedly if you can't make progress or you're making too little progress to actually have fun with it. So I do get that side of it too. And I get also not having a lot of time to sink into do stuff like that as well. Like, I don't know. It's, it could also be a thing of it's just more fun to do it a certain way than the way they intended, which is also valid. But since, for me, since rhythm, the genre of rhythm games isn't something I've delved too much into, it's something I feel like I would need to force myself to do a bit more just to see how I 100% feel about it, you know? But I would definitely try to, each time, I would try to be like, okay, let me see if I can do this. I think the biggest th problem with the rhythm aspect for me, especially if I stream it, is the way I have the stream set up. I hear the stream audio, I don't actually hear the uh, game's audio for my TV. So, I would be using delayed audio and trying to sync up with the delayed audio. Which would be a struggle, if you ask me. 
Now it happens to be though because if you can't do Crypt of the Next Fancy, you just wouldn't buy it. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It makes a lot of sense. I really hope I can catch up to this guy. Ooh. Oh no, that was not good. Ooh. Ooh. Kill him on. Oh, I had it. I was doing so well. But yeah, I do get that. Like, if you weren't doing well in Crypt of the Necronancer and. Chaos High Roll is going to be the exact same without the option to switch it off. I would completely get that. Like, I get what you mean, just let me not like actually pick up the game. That one wasn't as close, that was still a good race. I, I, I wish uh, Chaos High Roll had a physical release. Also, also, I would love it if at this NDK thing, or this indie video showcase thing that they had, Nintendo actually let somebody else work on another Nintendo IP. And we're like, here's another game, like Game hey, Spiral, but it's not a rhythm game, it's just something this other company wanted to work on. And we were like, yeah, sure, you can do that. Metroid 5. <laughs> After Fusion. I don't know. I don't think that happened. Ooh. The Captain Falcon beat em up game we've all wanted. Maybe I just want that, but. I would love a Captain Falcon beat em up game, honestly. I genuinely wish Captain Falcon had a game where he's outside of his. F what are they? They're F Zero machines, aren't they? That's what they're called, right? I was like, what is the official F Zero vehicle name? I want to say that's right. F zero. I think. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Characters, circuits, trivia. F Zero Jazz album? What? I want the F Zero Jazz album. In this game, the machines refer to as cars, the fact like the wheels and that they are designed to hover for them. Okay. So in the original, they're just referred to as cars. So let me look at F Zero X. Maybe. Okay. F Zero X. Why do Why do I put stuff like this in my brain? I'm just like I must go look, to find out. Let's see. Disk drive expansion, that's not what you want. What are the machines called? What are they called? You had to get up for a minute. You agree you would like to see more indies of Nintendo's IPs? I, I want that so much. Again, like I said, I would want some sort of uh, Captain Falcon beat em up game. <laughs> the one that everybody wants, totally. To be fair, I wouldn't doubt if I'm like one of the few people that actually wants that. But I, I, I would love something like that with Captain Falcon with how he's portrayed. And like, a lot of things I've seen, like how people treat his character, they're just like, okay. I could see 
Captain Falcon just running around a Falcon punching random people on the street. Not really random people, like, not good people. And I kind of want to do that. I wish we could get an actual F-Zero, though. Like, for real, an actual F-Zero, or at least F-Zero GX with uh, online multiplayer. Because F-Zero GX is fantastic. You've been imagining an action game with Captain Falcon, either made by Platinum or Teen Ninja? I'd be all for that. I would be all for that. In a heartbeat. Also, random thing. Maybe not so random. But, I said last week that I wasn't going to mention what game this was, but I'm going to now because I kind of wanted to talk about it. Because I don't know if I'm actually going to do it yet or not. This game will happen. This game will happen at some point on stream. But I'm thinking after Wander Song, ooh, we're either going to do. We're go either going to do Banjo Tooie, which would normally be on a Friday due to us going back and completing the old games or redoing old games. Or. Or I'll be playing a game that I've heard a lot about and will experience. And that would be Hellblade. It's, it's Hellblade, Sinua's, Sin, Sinua's, uh, I, I'm mispronouncing her name, I'm butching her name and I feel so bad. But yeah, that game, I want to experience it. I can just see, like, the 20,000 clips now of, like, me just saying her name poorly. But I really want to, I really want to try that game out. I really want an action game starring uh, Captain Falcon, like, honestly. You haven't played Hellblade, but it seems interesting. It looks really good, and I'm excited to try it out. I have it on the Xbox. And it's something that I feel like I should try. It's something that I've heard is really good. Wait, what? Whoa. Oh, that's spooky. That was a really good teaser trailer. That was a really good one. And if I play this... I'm pretty sure whenever that comes out, I'll probably stream it the day it comes out. But I just saw something. I'm looking at the gameplay, and I think the very bottom. Another core mechanic is the possibility of permadeath, which is meant to delete the player's save data after surpassing a number of deaths. It has permadeath, but it's not like perma permadeath. It's like you hit a certain amount of deaths and then you're done. So that's spooky. You wouldn't want to heck with Senya, Sen, Senya, Sen. What? Why? I, I, my, my mouth does not know how to do this. You don't. You wouldn't want to heck with her. You got it. Understandable. Have a nice day. Just know swearing is fine. Just don't use it to attack people. Like I don't mind if y'all swear. It is what it is. I just don't often. Wait, what? This way is... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Xbox, I can't believe you've done this. You kind of like not swearing here? You'll stick to it? That's also perfectly fine. I'm freaking out over something that my one of my friends posted that was also on the boards. They posted a, they posted something from Xbox's Twitter and it says fridge for scale and it shows the 
Xbox Series X, the big tower thing, and it says fridge for scale, and there's a fridge, there's a refrigerator next to it. I I I don't know how to feel about this. A lot of room for pizza in that fridge. And somebody said, please do not try to put. Oh, Xbox said, please do not. Please do not try to put pizza in the Xbox Series X. Oh, they announced the specs today? Did they? Ooh. Didn't know about that. I love that they're poking fun at themselves, though, with that. Fridge for scale. I'm gonna post that in the Discord. It's too beautiful not to. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I need. I know Wolfie posted in there earlier, but I'm gonna have to respond to her after stream. You have no idea what spec details mean? You're not a computer person? I'm not either, honestly. I don't know. I posted it in the Discord. Oh jeez. Oh! Pajira. This might be of interest to you. Um... We'll be posted this in the Discord earlier. I need to respond to it, but it happened during stream, so I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down and just, like, talk to her about it. But, um... Apparently Sony is looking to buy Metal Gear Solid, Castlevania, and Silent Hill from Konami. And apparently, if they do, supposedly, Kojima will be working on two of those games series. It's weird Microsoft just came out of nowhere today and said them no fanfare or anything. Yeah, that's very strange. I don't understand the logic behind that. But I mean, it's theirs. They can do what they want with it. Ooh. Come on. Oh jeez. Eh? I feel like I did a pretty good job there. Heard about that and that could be either cool or a train wreck. I hope it's good. I really do. I don't know what's going to happen though. I really don't. Oh jeez, no! I screwed that up so bad. I will say, I find it really weird that it's those three in particular. I guess those are like the three biggest ones for Konami. But it seems so weird that that's actually a thing that could be happening or is happening. Is Konami like actually legitimately done with games? If so, Nintendo, please take Mystical Ninja. Please. God, we're going on. Please. I need this in my life. Also... Ugh. Ugh. You hate Metal Gear Solid 5 and Death Stranding. Looks bad to you. So Kojima does not instill much faith in you anymore. I get that. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 5, but I still want to try it. I didn't play Ground... Well, I have Ground Zeroes, but I didn't play too much of it. I will say, though... I will say, though... I just thought... If this does happen... Does that mean we'll never see Snake or the Belmonts in Smash again? Like, if that happens, will they never be in Smash after this one? Because if so, that would kind of suck. I haven't played the new Smash yet, I still need to pick it up. But, like... I think Snake is fun in Smash Brothers whenever I played him in Brawl. 
And the Belmonts look like they're fun in the new Smash. It kind of sucked to never be able to have them again. Because I, I know Microsoft played ball with Nintendo and they're like, hey, you can use Banjo Kazooie. But I don't see Sony doing that as much as Microsoft did. Like at all. Which honestly is kind of a shame. So we need two more wins. So close. Yet so far away. Also, I feel this I feel this way about Smash Bros. Ultimate, I feel this way about this game here. Because I've seen people talk about a sequel to this, and I've, I, I think I've talked about a sequel to this too a little bit. But, Smash Bros. Ultimate is truly the ultimate version of Smash. It has the most content, has the most characters to play as, all that stuff. I don't see how they're going to top this Smash Brothers, Unless, you know, they brought everything everybody back again. And added like an actual Subspace Emissary type mode. But what are the chances they actually add in all the characters again? I don't see that happening for a long time, if ever again. So why not just add on to this? Or add on to Smash Brothers? But... I see the same thing for this game. I've seen people talk about why not... Lucky... Why would you do this? Oh my gosh. So, welcome back. Lucky walked across the uh, airplane mode button and she was like, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Um, but, uh, like, for Smash Bros. Ultimate and this, I don't see them getting better because of the roster and how much content they put into them already. I don't know, I just, I kind of wish in a way that they would just keep adding on to these. Like maybe not do it like all the time, but just come back in like a year or two and be like, alright, we're going to do a little bit more for this. To keep adding on to it and making it bigger and better. You know what I mean? Ooh. I don't know, I just... I am kind of worried about that, because I don't know if we're ever having as much content as we do in this Crash game or the current Smash game. Hey, you missed. You got it up and got chicken wings. Oh, heck. The most wanted from Konami would be Game on Castlevania and Poli Psych Snatcher slash Police Knots. I've heard of Snatcher and Police Knots, but I've never played them. But, um... Like, my thought process right now is... Will we never see, like, Smash... Or Smash. Will we never see Snake and the Belmonts in Smash again? If Sony does this. Because I know Microsoft was willing to, like, let Nintendo use Banjo-Kazooie, but... I can't see Sony doing the same thing. And then I started thinking, I got on... I got sidetracked and I was like... Why would they even want to make another Smash game? Like, I know they would want to make another one for money, but, like... With as much content as Ultimate has in it, and how much content it's still getting, could they ever surpass it? Could they ever make it better unless they're like, we're gonna release another game with the same roster and a bunch of new characters and a Subspace Emissary mode? And I was like, it's pretty much the same as this. Like, this game right here is a love letter to the Crash Train Trap phase. It has so many characters that you would have never thought would be here. If they did a sequel to this, like, what would the point be? It's not going to have anywhere near as much stuff as uh, this one did. So why not just randomly decide we're going to be like, we're going to add more stuff? You don't think we'll see another Smash for a long time? That wouldn't surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me at all, and I don't really think we need another Smash for a long time. Especially if they just came back, like I said, every few years and were like, let's add more content to Smash Bros. Ultimate, the ultimate version of Smash Bros. You know what I mean? But I still don't see that happening either. Also, that's not good. 
I hope we finish the race. We didn't finish. They released a Smash game next gen. I think it would just be Ultimate with the DLC included, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe this gen. I could live with that. I would be fine with that, especially if they... There was a possibility of them bringing more stuff. But I don't know. I am... It does make me worried for the future of a franchise whenever they did something like they did with Smash. Like, I don't think Smash... The next Smash would be bad if they just went ahead and made a completely new one. But I don't think it would... Be as well received, I guess is the right word. With how much content we have in the current one. Like, people would be like, we don't have this, 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 and this. But we had it in the last one. Same with if they ever did a new Crash Team Racing game, they'd be like, we don't have this, 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 and this, but the old one has it. You know what I mean? But... That'll... We'll find out how that goes in the future. Oh, hi, floating green cart. Even though Lucky ended the stream early and we started back up for one race, the stream is over. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and I can't wait to talk to you all again very soon. Goodbye everybody. I love you all. Ow!